Hey eBay sellers, it's Suzanne. Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk to you about getting mothball smell out of thrift store clothing. This is a task and one I usually avoid because sometimes it just doesn't come all the way out and it's just not worth it to me to have to deal with it. But sometimes you do find an item that's really valuable and it has that mothball smell and you want to take a shot at getting the smell out. So the first thing you want to do is hang it outside in the sunlight uh, for even a couple of days. Just let it air out, let the sun hit it, and sometimes that will do it. Um, if it is machine washable, check the tag. Then you can wash it with a cup of white vinegar and baking soda. And you can actually do a soak in your washing machine if your machine has that setting where you can just let it fill up with water and then let it soak in the vinegar and baking soda with detergent for about an hour and wash it as normal. And you may need to do a combination of these things several times to get the smell completely out. Um, one thing that can happen though is if this item that has mothball odor on it gets next to another item, then that item's going to have it in it too. So if you do want to try this at home to get the smell out, make sure that you don't put it around any other clothing or linens or fabrics or anything else because the smell will then get into that other item. And while you're watching on the subject of mothballs, I want to tell you a little story that um, don't ever use mothballs as rat poison. There's a lot of information on the internet that you can do this. I know some people that had roof rats in their attic, and this was on a very expensive golf course in a half a million dollar home. And this was a problem because of the water around the golf courses attracts rats. And it doesn't matter if it's a low income or a high income area, rats go there. So some of these homes got roof rats they jump from roof to roof. So that's how they get in and then they get up in your attic and multiply and you've got rats. So they were trying to save some money on exterminating the rats and put a bunch of mothballs all around the attic because they read that this would get rid of the rats, which all it does is make them move to another part of the house. So it doesn't work anyway. And you can check that on the internet. Um, also mothballs are very toxic. Um, they're linked to some lung issues, so it's just not a good product, period. But they put mothballs in their attic in July in Atlanta, and the heat made the smell go all throughout the house. It got all in the ductwork, came out the air conditioning vents. Everything in their house smelled like mothballs. And the woman had a bunch of St. John clothing, and uh, it could not be saved. It just was smelled too horrible. So don't ever do that. Um, they actually had a birthday party at the house and um, the cake tasted like mothballs. People even took it home and at their house it tasted and smelled like mothballs. So don't ever use mothballs as rat poison, rat repellent, anything like that. Um, if you have a better solution for removing mothball odor from clothing, I'd love to hear it. Post it below and let us all know because that is something we come across at estate sales and thrift stores is that really horrible, stubborn mothball smell. So if you have a trick for getting it out, please share. I'd love to hear it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day on eBay. Bye.